What's the worst toy to step on? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's holiday time and the holidays mean toys. Lots of toys. And how many times have I told you to pick your toys up off the ground when you're done playing with them, mister? I'm gonna count to three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, two and seven eighths, two and fifteen right, sixteenths. Right. Snap out of it, mm. snap out of it, man. Mm. You're, going, you're going too hard in dad mode. Okay, sorry. You gotta pull you gotta out of it. Carried away. Okay, for real though, if I step on one more toy, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna throw them all the way. Yeah! And I'm not gonna put them in the recycling I'm gonna put them in the kitchen trash can <laughs> oh, where they get leftover juices all over them and you're not gonna play with those anymore, no! Wow, Dad. Stepping on toys is part of parenthood. But of all the toys you can buy, which is the worst to step on, there's only one way to find out. It's time for Feet of Strength. Boy, am I excited about this. We're gonna be walking down the clutter gutter, which will be filled with particularly undesirable to step on toys. And we're always gonna have two different toys. We're going to be stepping on them both, and then when whichever one is more painful, we'll move on to the next round. Mm hmm For the quarterfinal round, as we start, we will be in just our socks. Let's get to stepping. Now, as a hardcore fan of Paw Patrol, this is gonna be very difficult for me to Step Dec on them. Decimate these toys. <laughs> uh, you know what? They're plastic. They have a lot of pokey edges. Uh, a little smooth in places, though, but definitely not something that you want to step on. Uh, the LOL Surprise dolls are basically balls filled with dolls and accessories that you don't know what you're going to get until you, I guess, step on it. I think you're always going to get a doll based on what I'm seeing here. <laughs> okay. Not much of a surprise. Where's Tony Robbins when you need him? It's like a some sort of got to get. Well, first of all, what? That one's named Chase. All right, I'm gonna step right on that one. The cop is named Chase, I do know that. Okay. Oh my goodness. The edges on this sphere are brutal. LOL, is it a surprise? Okay. Now I'm stepping on a dozer. Oh, this, oh my goodness, okay. Lots of fun today. <laughs> Woo, okay. Ooh, those spheres are a murder. Have okay. at it. I, I will say that you took one of the LOL surprise dolls and threw it into the Paw Patrol place, so I'm gonna move that. Yeah, move that back. Let's, yeah, let's can't, keep, it, keep it clear. I, I wanna have an unadulterated experience. Sorry, Chase. Oh, was that my foot or the toy? <laughs> <laughs> now that Chase toy. Oh! Yeah, I'm, t I'm telling you. LOL! <laughs> that, that sphere, that's uh, tough. That, no, the crane's not fun. <sighs> Oh, that's kind of nice. Stepping on the top of that part is pretty nice. But no, uh, I think without a doubt, LOL surprise uh, is much worse. Because of this. That could cut off a toe. So Shepard has a Nintendo Switch, so I know it is not a joy to step on the Joy-Cons. Okay. Especially the metal part. All right, and then the classic Battleship has got lots of spiky parts and ships and whatnot. Also a, a great choking hazard, but that's a different episode. Great. <laughs> uh, we, will, we will be swallowing toys later. Okay. Do the honors, Rhett. All right. You've, are you experiencing any joy? No, it's not full that weight, bad. Man. That's full weight, full weight. It's, I mean, okay. it's not pleasant. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, sorry. You crushed my Battleship. Uh, oh, ow, I don't even know how I can put my full weight on that. Oh! oh, oh. Whoa, that's real bad. Yeah, there's a, I'll Ooh. see if you agree. Oh, there's a clear winner here so, in my opinion. But I don't even think I need to do see, this. See, no, no, you need to, you need to. We need to confirm. Oh, no, that is just pure joy stepping on those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's really not that bad. Oh, but, you know, oh! Again, put your full weight on there. Put your full weight on there. Oh! Put your full, oh, no! Put your full Stop it! On there. Oh, that's tough, man. Woo! Now, even stepping just on the spikes is rather Yeah, whether you're in the game torturous. or you're just on the pieces, uh, we, have a, we have a clear winner. We've, yeah. we've sunk the battleship. Okay, a technical note about these Infinity War action figures. They're made from a Krylon nitrile, butadine, styrene, and polyvinyl chloride. Oh, I great. I don't know what that means or translates into, but it sounds hurdy. <laughs> and these Barbies over here 
are made of something called plastic. Oh! I believe. Really? All right, so I guess I'm gonna go for the Hulk smash. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, look at that, he dodged you. He dodged me a little. Is he alive? Does he have a spirit? Now, he's pretty s smooth, but that does hurt. <laughs> now I'm gonna go on some Barbie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm experiencing no pain here. Okay, get a little Groot and some Spider-Man action. And, okay, a little mermaid Barbie. Oh yeah, once again, I'm getting a little more pain from stepping on the babies, um, but also, just a little pleasure. <laughs> All right, so okay. I feel like there's a clear winner here. Oh, what? No, huh? yeah, that hurts more than I thought, right? The Hulk's got quite an inner thigh. <laughs> you know, I've always known that. <laughs> Yoga Barbie. She's limber. That's not too bad. Spoiler no. alert: some of these people are already dead. So you shouldn't feel bad about. Don't worry, crushing they're all them. coming back in the next movie. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Oh gosh, that's that's a. Uh, I think there is a clear winner, and I think it's the Infinity War. Uh, oh yeah, action figures. These are these are these are horribly painful. As the classic toy that everyone hates to step on, Legos have been embedding themselves in parents' feet since the 1940s. Yeah, and here's the thing about Lincoln Logs, though. They're, they're named after you. They're named after me. No, they were invented by Frank Lloyd Wright's son in 1916, so well, well before me. Lincoln Lloyd Wright? <laughs> no, um, I don't know Roy his name. <laughs> he, he was a weightlifter. <laughs> now these are wooden. So uh, you have a splinter hazard, but get to it. Okay. Is now that the, a familiar feeling? It is. I'll, I, two things, though, to take into account. There's a lot of Legos. Usually you step on one. So th this is kind of spreading out like a bed of nails. But the logs, it's almost pleasant. Is it? Yeah. So you're not experiencing too much pain it from- It has a massage quality to it. A lot of Legos. I can feel Royd coming through there. <laughs> Are you experience for, any Royd thanks rage? Thanks for inventing these, Royd. Uh, yeah, but the Legos are giving into the, into the uh, soft surface a little bit. Very painful in the fact that they have very sharp edges, but because they're small, it's not a horrible thing. But it's they're pointy, and they, they're, these are so smooth, so, yeah. I mean, it's definitely the Legos that move on, right? Okay, for the semifinal rounds, we're going to be going Barefoot. Because that's typically how I choose to step on toys. Right. I'll see them and I'll take my socks off. And speaking of which, I just want to acknowledge that I dropped something on my toe <laughs> and that's why it's blue. So I appreciate you not commenting about that uh, repeatedly. And I just want to acknowledge that I just have ugly feet. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you not saying anything about that. Okay, so uh, here I go. The, the thing is, you do not LOL, <laughs> when you step on the LOL surprise doll. It's, it's all that's bad. But all that's also bad. Mm. Woo, woo -hoo. Oh, okay. But that has a massage-like quality, that part, when you step on the top ball. Oh my gosh. And then if you just step on, oh! Oh, wow, I'll tell you, man. Tell me. This is difficult, this is difficult. Right, because this right to here. To do and that, difficult to that, decide. I mean, I don't know how likely it is that this <laughs> actually happens, but LOL, what a surprise, that hurts. Woo! And then, oh, that cuts right through, that cuts deep. Mm. Oh, oh, God. I mean, yeah, that's, it's, it's, that's horrible. Yeah, it's bad. That's like a medieval torture device. See if you can crush it and it feels better. I can't put all my weight on it because it's, it's, it's too knife-like. I can't put all my weight on it. Oh, I think I'm just gonna fall. <laughs> Uh, I'll catch you. Okay. I'm, I'm very confused. Oh, I brought some battleship with me, look at that. Now this is difficult, but my left foot is hurting more than my right foot. And I, I thought that the, the egg edge hurt worse, but I mean, I've got like indentions of all the pegs. I think it's less likely for you to step on an LOL surprise doll. But if you happen to step on this right here, an upside down, Surprise. Is that what you call it? Well, I don't know what it is. Half of the egg. Half of the sphere. But he, here's that, my, that, That's horrible. You, that you're is, right, that, you're right. That's gonna, you could lose a toe. The likelihood of stepping on a part of this is gonna hurt you is four times greater than that. Right, but are we taking into account the likelihood or are we just taking into account if you happen to step on it, which one is more painful? Because my friend, surprise, surprise, <laughs> no LOLs here. 
This is the worst thing I've ever stepped on in my life, and I've stepped on a nail. I agree. All right, so the LOL moves on, which means we have to step on it again. You oh, didn't work with me. Sorry. Can Marvel take down the playroom behemoth? Let's find out. Okay. Stepping on the Hulkster again. Once again, not too. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Oh, Phil, right into the barefoot. Legos are proving their reputation. Oh, but Groot. <laughs> Groot. Oh, Groot. Oh, Groot. <laughs> Got a lot of Ooh. points, man. Uh, but oh, <laughs> I think that one broke the skin. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it, the Legos are just, they're so sharp. Oh, gosh. And they're, they're so still sharp. sticking. And they stick to your that feet. That is the thing, man. They do not let go. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to go fast. All right. Do it. All right, kids, I'm coming in here, and I'm gonna punish you for leaving your leaving your toys out. Oh, oh, see, it's yeah. I took an extra step with the Legos. Yes. There's no rounded edges on on a Lego. Yeah, clearly these will make it through to the finals. <sighs> and congratulations, Lego blocks. As you can see, we can't. Yes, for this final round, we're going not only barefoot, but blindfolded. Because when I step on toys, it's usually in the middle of the night when I'm struggling to get to the bathroom in the dark. Boom! I'm stepping on something. Yep. Boom! I'm stepping on something. Right. Boom! Yes, because it's really the unexpected nature of the toy being stepped on that we're testing. So, Link, why don't you go first? Because I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> Am I lined up? I don't know. I'm blindfolded too, man. <laughs> oh. Yep, fewer Legos is more realistic. Oh, I missed. I missed entirely. Oh, there's there's a sphere of nasty. Ooh, right on the heel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I got a little doll. No. Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> uh, this is tough, man. This is. Oh. Usually I step on it once and then I'm like. <laughs> I, I, That's when you back I, off. Am I done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Darren. Someone. <laughs> there's all these people back here. Ain't nobody saying anything. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna start walking. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna spot you. I stepped full weight. Full stop, you can take your blindfold off. I heard you. Directly onto the devil stones. This thing, man, is horrible. When you step I, on the, the way, top. I've, I've heard that noise a lot, like when my wife is trying to go to the bathroom. Constipated? <laughs> your wife is constipated and you just shared it with everyone. Um, I, I hesitate. I just wanna say, that was painful. I feel like I've got a little PTSD just from doing that. I think that the Legos, they can hide easily. They're maniacal, you know. It's like a little, a little blue Lego in your blue shag carpet is something that's gonna reach out and bite you. You're gonna see these things from a mile away, maybe even in complete darkness, and you have a 50/50 chance of it being a pleasant mushroom-like experience. Right. So with this, there's there's no fun way to step on. A Lego, and it's gonna sneak up and bite you. Yeah, I feel like the incognito nature of it, the low pro profile nature of it, makes it much more likely. I gotta say that pain, taking into account just pain, this is the most painful toy I've ever stepped on. But I think the most pain you will experience in the long run will be the Lego. Absolutely, I agree. So there you have it. Congratulations, Lego blocks. You are the worst toys to step on at least until next year. Did I just sign us up for something horrible? Oh, we're not gonna do this again. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, this is me, Sam from California. And this is my representation of Rhett and Lincoln Lego. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That wheel goes a lot faster than our wheel. Not very realistic. <laughs> oh, come on. Ch <laughs> challenge accepted. Awesome job on that. Clip the top link. We're going to be unboxing the most popular Christmas toys of 2018 in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Be your mythical best with these logos on your chest. New logo tees available in a variety of colors. Get them now at mythical.store.